in here, y'all. Get on in here. We're going to answer this once and for all. Y'all been writing me and asking me different questions about certain things in the black community. So I'm going to talk about it. Some of y'all are not going to know what a damn bonnet is. I would suggest that you go to Google and type in women wearing bonnets in public. <laughs> All right. So looks like y'all piling in for this one. Y'all piling in real fast for this one. So here's the thing. I put up two polls today. Two polls. Now, the first poll said, should women wear bonnets in public? Immediately, the majority view was yes. I was absolutely shocked. Because to me personally, I'm, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it in a second. So I was shocked. But I figured I'd give it some time. You know, it was the first few votes or whatever. So I put out a second poll that said, would you date a woman with, that wears bonnets in public? No, was the majority. So I'm like, wait a minute. You got all these people that's for women wearing them in public. But then when I asked them if they date a woman that wears it in public, everybody's like, no. So I thought that was real interesting. So I'm going to refresh my page before we get on a bonus. That's right. That's right. That's right, Jay. That's right. Let's see here. Now, out of 1,600 votes, would you date a woman that wears bonnets in public? Um, yes is 25%. 75% is no. Should women wear bonnets in public? 48% yes, 52% no. Now, y'all want to know what I feel about it. I have always, I can't stand seeing women wear bonnets in public. I cannot stand it. To me, it's it's hood, ignorant, ghetto, unclassy, uncouth, whatever you want to call it. That's what it is. Now, some of you might liken it to a man wearing a wave cap in public. When, now, I wore waves for years. I was a waver for years. The majority of my life, I would say, I was probably a waver. And whenever I wore my wave cap, I always felt like a 1980s thug. Like I looked like a 1980s thug. I always crack, like, <laughs> it always made me think of that episode of the, uh, the, the, the scene in Boys from the Hood. Hey, little man. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all ain't got it yet. You ain't even got it. If you know the movie, you know what I'm talking about. So, um, but I only wore my wave cap for a half hour. That's all I needed to lay my hair down. That's all I needed. You get what I'm saying? So even though I felt like I looked thuggish or whatever with it on, I was wearing it to lay my hair down. It has a function, just like bonnets have a function. However, I don't. I never wore them as a style choice. Like as yo, I'm gonna wear the blue. I'm gonna blue wear the blue John with the with the with the blue sneaks, with the royal blue sneaks. With the no, it was never ever part of that. If you want to do that? Go ahead. But to me, even the wave caps wearing them all the time, it, it, it is an unclassiness to it. It's just my opinion on fashion. It's not classy. It don't look cool. And you know what? You know what I actually thought looked kind of cool when dudes was wearing like uh they would wear the wave cap with a hat. I think even yeah, 50 Cent did it. Like they had a hat to the side kind of and they had the I thought that looked kind of cool sometimes, depending on how the brother put it together or whatever. But anyway, back to the bonnets, the bonnet brigade. Uh Monique put out a video a little while ago asking sisters to stop that, and she got attacked. I mean, profusely. I was like, wow. But look, I know my people, and I know she know her people. I know she knew she was going out on a limb and was probably going to get, you know, something back 
for 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 you know doing that. You know what I mean for saying that. But I don't think she was wrong at all. Uh, whether she did it or used to do it or whatever, I watched a few videos on it. But I can't, yo, I can't stand them. Now, I don't mind a woman wrapping her hair or whatever. You know the certain, you know the mother mother of the earth chicks. You know into into burning incense and uh, all the herbs and spices and all that stuff that makes it nicest. You know, uh, a lot of those women, they have certain uh, ways of wrapping their hair or African raps that they use that I really like. You know what I mean? So now, uh, this is mainly a thing in the black community, but I do know that there are other women that wear bonnets, but mainly the black community has been going on about this. And um, some of y'all might be saying, you can't say nothing. You dating a white woman right now. She ain't white. Okay. She's Puerto Rican. Okay. And I've seen them wearing bonnets before too. Um, and when I have dated black women, um, they, they never wore bonnets in public. As a matter of fact, black women I dated, I never saw, even saw them wear bonnets. So, and, and I, and I dated this one, she hella hood. That's a major regret, but I learned something from her, but <laughs> even she didn't wear them. I, I can't stand it. I can't stand it. You go into the store. And they wearing pajama pants, fuzzy slippers, and the damn bonnets. I cannot stand that. Yo, and the fact, the fact that so many, uh, look, 93% of my followers are male. The fact that most of you dudes said it's I right for these chicks to be wearing bonnets in public Let's me know why they all still wearing them. <laughs> if we made a bigger stank about it as black men, I think they'd stop that. I can, yo, yo, <laughs> I have no idea. Yo, you know what it's like for me? I bet you this is what it's like. Check this out. Every girl that I asked this, brothers, told me that they hate this, that we do this. A I would say around eight years ago, eight years ago, I was thinking about buying some Nike or Adidas slides. And I always thought it looked real comfortable how dudes wore the, <laughs> wore the socks with the slides. And I told the girl at the time that I was dating that I was, I was like, yo, I'm getting you some slides just so I can rock some socks with them. She was like, don't you dare. She was like, I hate that when guys do that. I cannot see. She was like, I don't understand why y'all think that looks good, right? So fast forward a few years later, I never bought them, right? I had one, two, I had five or six black women in the house and a couple of brothers. One of us walked in with high, knee high, almost knee high, crew sock, crew, black crew socks with the Nike slides. And I asked the women, like he kind of wasn't paying attention to me. He was reading something. And I said, I was like, girls, is that all right with y'all? Do y'all like that? Every single one of them said no. We can't stand it. So maybe liken it to that, girls. I don't know what to say. I know the bonnet has a function. It's just rocking it outside the house with your pajama pants, with with, with your fuzzy slippers. You know what I mean? It, like, yo, it be making y'all look like y'all stink. Yo, I'm telling you, yo, I, yo. And I ain't never said that, but other dudes have told me that. Like, yo, man, they come out the house with them bonnets on. They look like they stink. They look nasty, like they don't wash or something. Them pajama pants or they sweatpants on, them dumbass slippers. Some be coming out with the fuzzy ones. Some be putting their feet in them fucking some dumb old SpongeBob slippers. Like, yo, why do these girls think that that shit's all right? Like, dudes have told me this stuff for years. <laughs> And girls continue to do it. I mean, look, somebody's 
somebody's doing something with these girls, and that's probably why they keep doing it. They ain't complaining as long as they can get close to her. You know what I mean? But to me, it's just unclassy, uncouth. It don't look good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just like, yo, I was, let, let me see where it's at right now. Let me see where, the, where it's at right now. Would you date a woman that wears bonnets in public? 74% hell no. 26% hell yeah. Should women wear bonnets in public? 53% hell no. 47% hell yeah. So they still struggling over there with it. But yo, yeah, I would never. I would never. It's just a certain level of class with me that I, you know what I mean? Everybody's got their limit. Everybody's got their limit. I can never date a chick. But yo, I'm going to go to Wawa. I'm going to go 7-Eleven. Yes, I'm ready. Well, no, you don't. no, the hell you ain't ready. <laughs> You better, you better do something with that before we step out the door. Shoot. You are a reflection of me, my dear. And I am a reflection of you. I ain't going to show up nowhere looking stank, nasty, and coothless. And you shouldn't show up nowhere looking stank, nasty, and coothless. I'm sorry. That is what it is. And people do judge books by their covers. You could be the nicest, greatest humanitarian. You could be Jesus-like, Christ-like, the greatest person ever born, okay? But that cover says something. It really does. It's like certain things you wear to work, certain things you wear to church. There's certain things you don't wear to church and you don't wear to work. It is what it is. It's always been like that. Now, I know a ton of free spirits out there. Everybody should be able to do whatever they want, just however they feel. There should be no borders, no barriers. We should all just do what we want. Chaos should run free. We need some borders. We need something. <laughs> we need some type of standard, people, as far as I'm concerned. We need some type of standard. <laughs> Well, the truth is, I'll tell you this. A lot of dudes, women, if you're watching, a lot of dudes don't care. They're fighting it out in, in the hole right now. It started out 65% yes. Now it's down to 43% yes. And 50-something, whatever, percent, 57%. Yeah, um, no. So um, I, I would say this, ladies. Um, I watch... I've been watching a lot of different channels right now, especially since the whole um, high value man subject has been very prevalent within the past few months. And the truth is, if you are, if you want a high value man, high value men don't deal with that. That's the majority, not minority of, there's always, there's always a, you know, uh, exception to the rule, you know what I mean? But it's true. High value men dare you to step out the house in some SpongeBob slippers, some ice cream sandwich, uh, pajama pants, and a bonnet. They dare you to. And I bet you they drive off. You know what I'm saying? To pick you up. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's it just, you know, it. it Look, there's going to be people that's mad and don't like it and this and that. But, hey, y'all, I don't speak a lot too much on certain things because I know people get sensitive. But sometimes I'm in a mood to answer certain questions, you know. I'm a black man, and a lot of y'all ask me a lot of questions with the black community. I don't like to get too political and stuff too much, but I just felt like talking about bonnets today. Then I saw something on TV, and I was like, you know what? I'll answer the bonnet question. I'll answer the bonnet question. Certain head wraps I really love. It just makes a woman look extremely be beautiful while holding their hair up. You know what I mean? And uh, if things don't work out with me and Scarlo, uh, if I date a, another black woman in the future, trust me, she will not be wearing bonnets in public. And if I find out she does wear bonnets in public, we'll have to have a talk about that. If she continues, 
We won't continue, but she can continue. And I hope she's happy with her life after that. Because, I hey, just a certain way you act in public. You know what I mean? <laughs> and I prefer she not wear them at all. I prefer she not wear them at all, to tell you the truth. I, I do. Like, I prefer... Like, like we go get ready to go to bed, and I'm like, oh, look, for the first time, and I'm like, no, she don't, ah, she came out in the bonnet. Oh, Lord. I'm the type, I'll research myself. What is a, a fine substitute, equal substitute to a bonnet? And I look them all up, I'm like, look, babe, can you, can you, for me, can you please just wear this? Because I just, it don't even look good. It makes me flaccid looking at the bonnet. The bonnet does not work at all. I'm sorry, baby. It, it, it just don't. Please. I'm asking nicely. <laughs> they don't work for me, yo. Yo, and girls know there's certain things that guys do that make us look nasty or unclassy or like we stink. Like, remember when dudes was, my one boy, he said his brother used to call it ogrely. Like, dudes would, like, first of all, sagging the pants. A ton of women hate that. Like, bruh, like, my opinion on that, brothers, you need to stop. Especially if you're not a gay man, and you're not a gay man in prison that's showing the status of his booty to the rest of the inmates that's, that's, that's gay. You know what I mean? That, that started in prisons with gay men showing the status of their booty. Okay? And certain rappers started doing it and it made it popular. And guys started doing it and they still think it's cool. And it ain't. <laughs> and especially now with the skinny jeans, all these dudes' butts is out in public all the time. At least in the 90s when dudes was doing it, they had big shirts to cover their butt that was hanging out. At least. But now, got all these young dudes. I'm seeing that all they boxer briefs and boxes. I, I cannot stand that. As a matter of fact, I don't like that more than I like. I, I don't like that more than, um, hold on a second. My phone just gave me a low battery. I don't like that more than the bonnets. I mean, the worst thing is for a, a dude walking down the street seeing a bunch of young dudes' butts walking down the street. Like, what part of the game is this? You know what I'm saying? And you're young and you ain't, most of you won't listen to me. Most of you won't because you think you know everything. I did a video on that. You think you know everything. You think you got everything figured out. And well, well it's cool, so I'm going to do it. See, when we're growing up, this is how it works, right? This is why they tell you the older you get, the more you don't care. So when you're a child, when you're really young, you seek the, the uh, approval of your parents. Then as you get older, you start to seek the approval of your peers. That's why you try to do everything you can to be cool. You want to buy these sneakers. You need this type of shirt or pants. You got to get this haircut. Because if you don't, you won't be cool and you won't be accepted. And I get it. I understand the pressure. However, to walk to the beat of your own drum. Like I was. You know what I mean? I got made fun of, but I turned out better than I would say 99% of the dudes that came out of my town. Because the majority of them all wanted to be cool. They're all doing the same thing. Every time I go back home, they're all doing the same thing. Either still dealing drugs or in a dead-end job or they're unhappy or they're homeless or they're drug addicts. I'm telling you, the majority of the dudes from my town is the same story for most towns. It's the same thing. I've seen dudes flush all of their talent, mental and physical, down the toilet trying to be cool. Smoking this, dealing that, just just chasing this dumb fake dream that they see on TV with rappers and movie stars that doesn't really exist. It's ridiculous, yo. Ridiculous. And the girls are doing the same thing. 
This video then turned into something else. This video, the girls are doing the same thing. They think this hot girl summer stuff is cool. Oh my, yo, the girls, yo, and it, there's always been people like this, you know, like even way, way back, there was always real nasty music and nasty movies and people that were, but it feels like it's gotten more prevalent. You know what I mean? To where more and more of our society has been seduced by the unclassiness, the ignorance. I can't stand hot girl summer. I can't stand them, you know, them pretty thug girls. All that, yo, it is not for me, man. If you're happy, do that. But all the masculinity, like they're acting like me. They're doing nothing but counting money. And I don't do this. They're counting their money in the camera, throwing it all out. You know what I mean? Like, it's true. Dudes don't care. Like, they don't about this stuff. There's some do. Some, there's always the, you know, exception to the rule. You know what I mean? Them <laughs> But yo, it's I like a I like a I like an educated woman that's you know pretty dainty. I like feminine women. Yes, I like them submissive. Yes, I like her to have a mind of her own. She's not going to be a doormat. But a lot of women, you know, when we get into the whole submissive thing. I don't think they truly. I think they think that submissive means being a slave, and that's not what it means. But um, men and women just need to know their roles, know their roles, and shut their mouths. Like The Rock used to say from the 90s. You know what I mean? But anyway, this video is getting kind of long. I cannot stand bonnets. Please, women, if, if you want to get the best man you can get, trust me. I'm a man. Okay? I'm a man. All right? I rub shoulders with a lot of men. I know what we look for. What high-quality men looks for. What high value men look for. If you want the best man you can get, you're going to stop wearing stuff like that in public and you're going to come out the house presentable, like your grandma used to say. Presentable. You know what I mean? Remember when your grandma used to say, Oh, grandma, we're going to show you. Come on, let's go. No, girl, I got to get my hair together. That's your grandma knew that going out the house looking funky wasn't right. She, your grandma got her hair ready. You know what I mean? At least she pulled back in a ponytail, put it in a bun or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 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 what you bring company over for? I ain't right. You know what I mean? They they understood what that what that meant. But I don't know. People nowadays they just think. Oh. Hey, you want to see it? Go to Walmart. If y'all don't know what bonnets are, and, and and just go to Walmart. Walk more, walk down every aisle of Walmart. Just go to Walmart, do some cardio for like an hour. Walk down every aisle. Go to the quick checkout. The, the self-checkout, go there and stand there and watch everybody checking out. All right? Don't go to Target. You ain't going to see it at Target. It's rare. There's higher class people shout. It's like... The higher class people's Walmart. <laughs> I go to both, to tell you the truth. Whichever one's closer, I go to both of them enough to know which one carries what I need. There's people laughing their behinds off in the comments because they know I'm telling the truth. Go to Walmart. Can't find it at Target, but go to Walmart and you will see plenty of... But Go there in the morning, though, because that's people getting up and not giving a damn about what they look like. You can't go at night. You might see it at night. You got going to early morning to early afternoon. You going that's a lot of bum ass motherfuckers going there around that time. You know what I'm saying? They just getting out of bed at eleven, <laughs> and they don't give a damn. Yo, just had to tell it like it is. You know what I mean? I still love my black women. I still love my black people, and that's why I'm telling y'all. And this goes to any other race, too, that likes to wear bonnets or come out the house looking nasty. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think. Like, I don't never see. Now, it depends on where you live, though. In my area, I live in New Jersey. So in my area, 
I know the only people that I mainly see come out the house looking nasty is white folks and black folks. That's who I usually see at the Walmart the Walmarts that I go to. Third, I'll see some Hispanics sometimes, but I never, I never see nasty like Arabs, nasty Indians. I don't see uh, nasty Asian. Like, I don't see them ever coming out the house looking like that. I don't see Asians. Yeah, I know Indians are Asians, too, but I like to separate because a lot of people don't know the Indians are Asians. So Indians, Asians, Arabs. I don't never see none of them wearing bonnets, fuzzy slippers, and, and pajama pants. They always at least, they either wearing their traditional garb or they at least got some slacks and a shirt. Yeah, they, it's always presentable. <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, I'm about to do a live stream of, um, of uh, Resident Evil 5 on my gaming channel. Come on over there. Uh, I got a reaction for Rick and Morty coming. I got a uh, a deep the one try not to laugh. That'll probably be up tomorrow because I got to do some things with it. Um, remember, I'm reacting to Rick and Morty on Patreon, along with Family Guy now on Patreon. So there's a lot of stuff on Patreon right now. Uh, yeah. So I will <laughs> I will see y'all soon. Post your comments down below. If you talk trash, you're getting banned. Ten million subscribers. Woo! No more bonnets! <laughs>